All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Forza Horizon 4. My name is Raven from the Sky. Thank you for your support in the first couple of episodes. Keep showing the love and I keep cranking these out. Now, with that said, let's do it. Okay, Raven. Competing in events will raise your influence. Plotting your route to a street scene race now. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. Street scene. Street scene. Ready? Let's do this. Oh, it's you. You made it. I'm Jay, by the way. Alex wouldn't shut up about you, you know. If you drive half as well as he says you can, these guys will love you. Oh, before we start, you've got to know this isn't strictly sanctioned by the festival. What's so that? Mr. Kira. All right. I gotta go. Work to do. See you around though, yeah? These might not be official, but you keep coming to these meets. I'll make sure everyone at Horizon knows your name. Looking forward to seeing what you can do out there. Have fun now, yeah? All right, yeah. Dodge Viper. I think trucks are like too heavy. I know they're a part of NASCAR and all that, but as far as street racing, <laughs> they handle like boats. I don't, I don't. Oh, did we get eliminated? I'm so busy talking. What happened? Oh, I think I missed the checkpoint. It's probably what it was. I was like, it reminds me of like um, Midnight Club and Need for Speed Underground 2, racing Escalades and Navigators and crap.
like it's a BMW X series. I know that's their little mid-sized SUV. Is the oh? <laughs> yeah, right into that crash. Like I was saying, that mid-sized SUV is the X Class X11. Oh, this is what happens when you're on the wrong side of the road, oncoming traffic. That's the only thing that's annoying about street racing is the traffic and the, the cops, street racing games. It's the only thing. That's why, I, for the longest time, I was just stricken to track games. Just sticking the track. It's the longest. Now that seems like it's a dying breed. Seems like Forza Horizon gets more buzz and more steam than their uh, regular series, the track series, the Forza. racers have all these unspoken rules about respect and honor and who can and can't join but all you need to know is drive like that and you're welcome anytime almost there that's what I love about the Forza games, how easy it is to make money as in hey, this game. Just to let you know, there's another the round one dirt race starting soon if you fancy it. See you there. Dirt oh, race. And me and Jay have just finished setting up a new danger sign. You should check it out if you fancy some thrills along the way. Alright. So let's go. Guys like my new paint job? a bit of customizing in between uh, recording sessions. I didn't want my car looking basic. But also, I didn't want to blow all my uh, all my winnings on just upgrades and paint jobs. But also upgraded and uh, changed the paint job of the Kazi. I'm going to save it so we can get new rides when we have to. And not be stuck in progression limbo where you're like stuck in tier 1 I'll talk about it, that in, in one of my future uh, series coming out next month. Or within the next couple of months. But you're pretty much stuck in tier one because you don't have the resources to upgrade. You kind of made a mistake and spent all your... Well, pretty much what I just said. Spent all your resources. And you have to grind, grind, regrind until you can get enough money to upgrade. Or skill points to upgrade. I made that mistake in past yards. games. What about Turn you guys? Right. Turn right. Oh, see what I'm t talking about? That's so annoying. Love the physics, though. In 400 yards. Turn right. Wish I just had just a freedom. I wonder if you turn it off and make it like when, when you turn astral. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Your destination. I have to change cars.
All right, so we raised the difficulty a little bit. <laughs> that was too easy. I'm not gonna raise it too high to where it becomes annoying. I'm not an achievement hunter or com super completionist that just seeks out like a uber level of challenge every time I play a game. Hats off to those guys, but to me, extreme d difficulty is just annoying. Sure, there's nothing you can't learn or get good at if you dedicate the time and effort to practice at it, but no. I don't want to dedicate the time and effort to master extreme difficulty. That's just me. So yes, majority of the walkthroughs, or some of them, at least are played on cupcake difficulty. Especially horror games. I always get annoying with those puzzles. I mean, I love the, the jump scare experience, don't get me wrong, but they have a tendency to get annoying. And when you are trying to spit out episodes for your fans, you don't want to be sitting up there stuck on some level 99 boss. And you have other series you got to get out to your fans. You want like a schedule that you put yourself on. This is how I see it. So that's why I kind of play on cupcake difficulty. Why does it make me switch to the Kazi? Huh. Guess it doesn't matter. That's what I have the Kazi for. Ultimate clean racing. Got him. It's a nice Honda, though. is you've made the cut for the horizon autumn season bad news obviously is that it doesn't start until autumn you don't mind sticking around do you hey raven nice paint job why not show the artist some love with the rating hey i owe you big time for helping me out earlier meet me here i want to repay your favor Dude, we can buy homes. You telling me we can buy homes? You have arrived at your destination. You're not gonna Get believe out of here. The film producers bought this house to use as a set. But when filming wrapped, they just left it. I had a word and you know what? They said you could have the house for free as a thank you for your work on the movie. Wow. Excellent. Well, since this one's on the movie company, here's the keys. If nothing else, you can store your threads here. Your wardrobe is like a map of your career. So the more you get yourself out there, the more clothes you get in return. Speaking of which, I see you've already made a name for yourself before coming to Horizon UK. So I ordered in some exclusive threads as a thank you.
Jackets, what we got? That's what we got. Oh, we definitely got to unlock these. Wheel spin. Oh, we can have one watches, bet. Oh, driving gloves. Oh, it's a must. You any good at dancing? You can bust a move to show off before a race and bust an even bigger move for when you win. <laughs> Trust me, it'll be great. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you like the episode, do me a favor, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Don't forget to turn notifications. That way you don't miss an upload from your boy. All right, I'm out of here.